Well, it rained a fair bit last night. Again, the forecast was way off. So it's pretty wet out there. I've been out already. Just getting the stove in place. And uh, I'm gonna start working on breakfast. And I gotta pack everything up kind of wet again, just like last time. <laughs> but what are you gonna say? Uh, and I slept off and on. Uh, it got colder tonight than they said as well. And I had a feeling that would happen. I was going to bring either my bigger sleeping bag or another, uh, like a, a liner for a sleeping bag. Totally forgot. So I wouldn't say I was cold, um, but it was borderline. So that kind of kept me waking up every so often, but no issues with animals or anything like that there I haven't seen anything so time to pack up inside of here and get everything out there and uh, make some grub it's time to make breakfast <clears throat> and so I've got hash browns sausages and my frying pan which I should get rid of any popcorn remnants this tin foil can come off don't need that that's all that's left <clears throat> And I remembered to bring some plastic bags for garbage this time. Oh, and I also remembered this time. A knife and a fork. Let's put this somewhere. And a little tiny spatula that my wife had. <laughs> it's perfect for this. Excellent. I'm just going to use my knife here to just scrape up some of this popcorn stuff. Yeah, that one popped really well last night, better than that one when I was camped up on the hill there. I'm going to add some butter first. There is no wind out here today. None. glad I brought this spatula. I would have been hooped without it. Now let's add some of this. Cooking a bit. Brought my old multi spice. Had to put it in a bag because these things leak. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna grab my thermostat. I feel a few mosquitoes. I just saw a flame in there. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, it's this paper. Or the cardboard catching on fire. It'll burn off, it'll be alright. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I've considerably warmed up since I got up this morning. <laughs> I was a bit chilled. And uh, I'm actually going to have this. I think this is about ready to eat. Just gonna wait another minute. I'm gonna give this a try. It's good. A couple of the pieces are burnt, but I'm gonna. I'm going to make some more here in a second. And I won't burn them. It's still a bit chilly. The sun's not really coming out. A lot of cloud cover. I have another concern. And that is, once I'm packed up here, <clears throat> the grass is really wet. Am I going to be able to drive out of here? This is not four-wheel drive. But I think the trick is to get some momentum and once it's moving, I can keep it moving. And these tires are much better than stock golf cart tires. So as I've mentioned before, on wet grass, those other tires won't move the vehicle at all. I guess we'll find out what happens. <clears throat> Nothing like eating breakfast in fresh open air. I'm actually gonna turn off the thermocell. I really, don't think there's any mosquitoes out here. Oh, shoot, two white tails. Darn it, I was talking too loud. Check out the difference in quality between using my phone and my old camcorder zooming in with a zoom lens. There's no doubt their sense of smell is very strong and they could see me. Well, that was pretty cool. Those were not the first two deer that I saw over there because those were not white tails. These ones were white tails. So there's more wildlife around than you think because you can't see where they are because of the cover of the forest. So in the end, this isn't too bad, but I like the bacon and eggs better. I don't know why, but that worked much better. I think it's because the bacon had more grease. Um, I brought some butter or margarine and um, those sausages didn't put out much grease. So <clears throat> some of these hash browns are burnt, but considering this isn't even a frying pan, no complaints. All my garbage is in here. Putting away a tent that's wet, you definitely need to unpack it, ideally within 24 hours and dry it out. I'll probably set it up at home in the garage if it stays like this all day. <clears throat> if you don't, it will get moldy and you can ruin a tent by not drying it out. That's pretty much it. Site is packed up. Other than the grass being pushed down, left no trace behind. Cleaned everything up. Now we'll find out if this golf cart can move in this wet grass. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll see. 
Okay, here it goes. I'm gonna try and go back the way I came last night. Wow. This hill may not look steep to you, but it is steep. So I'm going to be crawling down. Brakes. I get too far just check that everything's there it's all good <clears throat> so far no issues The trail just doesn't get used as much anymore, which I don't mind, but the bush really grew in. Huh. Still got a ways to go. Honestly, don't know who these people are, but seem friendly enough. Well, there you have it, everybody. I'm back home, safe and sound. Golf cart did awesome. Really impressed. And uh, I'll dry everything out later today. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned, you never know what silly ideas I'm going to come up with, and I uh, will see you next time. <laughs>